Hey, it's Nick here. It's Saturday morning, Felt and Spartan shoot another video. This video is all about freedom, and this video was originally going to be shot for uh, those of you who are in my Freedom Formula Facilitators training, my Freedom Leaders. Uh, however, I felt like uh, this was an important enough topic to share with everyone, uh, so I'm going to post this more um, openly. So, freedom. Let's talk about freedom. Freedom is the one thing that Everybody wants the most when they come to Law of Attraction, whether you realize it or not. Most people are trying to manifest money. They're asking, how do I get more money? But really what they're looking for is freedom. Now, here is what I want you to reflect on on the topic of freedom. So I posted a question uh, a few days ago asking, you know, on a 0 to 10 scale, what would you rank your level of freedom? And most people were saying, you know, I'm at a 6, I'm at an 8, I'm at a 5. And the reason I'm not at a 10 is because this circumstance, that circumstance, the other circumstance, this hasn't shown up yet, that hasn't shown up yet. Now, what I want you to self-reflect on is to ask yourself, is freedom an external circumstance or an internal experience? Right. So first, let's start by defining what most people call freedom, right? Most people say freedom is the ability to do what you can when you want to do it, right? So freedom is really perceived as your ability to be able to do the things you want. And if we take a step back from that, Essentially, people are perceiving freedom as an external experience. Freedom is a way that I experience my reality. It's me being able to do what I want, right? And what I encourage you to do is change your perception of freedom. Change your definition of freedom. The way that you're going to change what is going on out here is by first changing what's going on in here because out here is always a reflection of what's going on in here. So what I want you to do in order to manifest more freedom out here is remind you that you need to live the freedom internally before you seek it out here. And the way you do that is by stop chasing after the circumstances to feel free. You got to feel free on the inside. Duh, right? And this is law of attraction basics. You guys in the facilitator program, I know this is just a reminder for you guys. However, by changing the way you perceive freedom, that makes freedom so much more attainable. So perceive freedom as a state of being, right? as a state that you tune into. And that state is always available. Right now you have the freedom to watch this video, you have the freedom to turn it off, you have the freedom to go outside for a walk, you have the freedom to go get a glass of water, you have the freedom to speak, you can say whatever you want, you can post it online if you want. You have absolute freedom in the sense of the way you choose to feel and the aspects that you choose to tune into. So maybe right now you don't have the physical freedom to get on a plane and fly to Bali and spend a month in Bali doing whatever you want, but freedom is still a vibration you have the ability to tune into, right? So what I encourage you to do, especially my facilitators in the training, is spend a month practicing freedom from the vantage point of a state of being rather than the vantage point of creating experiences out here or manipulating physical reality out here in a way that gives me the ability to physically do what I want. And what will happen over time is as you continue to practice the internal freedom, your physical reality will begin to remold in a way where the external freedoms that you're looking for, looking to manifest, looking to achieve, are going to begin to show up through cooperative components, such as money, right? Money is the biggest cooperative component when it comes to freedom, because if you don't have the money, you can't physically do what you want. 
But when you stop trying to make the money show up to achieve the freedom, when you focus on achieving the freedom internally, once you do bask in the feeling of freedom that you always have access to, physical reality will remold to give you those experiences that you seek. So again, all of this to say, start changing the way you perceive freedom, start practicing tuning into freedom as an experience internally, as a state of being, making the state of being your priority rather than experience as your priority. And over time, that momentum will lead you to those experiences. So a little bit of freedom talk this morning. I hope uh, that serves you well. Uh, as a challenge, drop a comment below and list as many things as you can in 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or maybe list five things, five ways you can experience freedom in your now, five things you can do to tune into that feeling and practice on a day-to-day -day basis. So hope this was useful for you. Uh, wishing you an abundance of freedom, uh, both inside and